Many men have the outdated notion that women shouldn't drink. It's ironic, really. They tell us off for getting squiffy when they're the ones who drive us to the bottle. But as a modern woman, it's only natural that your top priority is to keep your man happy. So I'm going to show you a great way that you can hide your drinking by making yourself one of these. A teddy bear esky. Simply take a teddy bear. You really should have a teddy in the house anyway. They make you look feminine and vulnerable. Then slice open its back. Pull out the stuffing and replace with polystyrene beans. And sew in a zipper for easy access. And there you have it. A secret portable esky that's uniquely feminine. Of course, if vodka isn't your poison, you can use the same technique to make yourself a teddy cask. So discreet. Goal! That's nice, dear. If it weren't for my teddy bear esky, I'd never make it through footy season. Bottoms up. Tonight, I've got a cheeky new idea for the modern woman. Just how do you keep the romance sizzling if you want to sleep with the same man more than once? After he's taken you to his place and he's taken you at yours, things can get a little, well, dull. So, here's an idea. Why not spice things up a little and get down and dirty with your man in a sleazy motel? Of course, you'd never be seen dead in one of those places. So I'm going to show you how to recreate that sleazy motel room feel in your very own home. Mmm, a potent purpury that's sure to get you both in the mood for some motel mischief. Move in a bar fridge. Stocked with peanuts, miniature spirits and novelty condoms. Just remember to remove one of its feet so that you get that authentic motel rattle. Mood lighting is so important. Of course, the idea of being close to strangers will always heighten your arousal. So hire a suitable movie, turn up the volume and play it in the room next door. It's so easy to turn your bedroom from this into this. So there you have it. A makeover with some simple sleaze means that your two night stand will last longer and feel fresher. And if it's sleazy enough, he might just leave a tip. Uh, lingerie, lingerie every time. Buy some nice lingerie, bring some flowers, um, write him a poem. <laughs> Watch pornography. <laughs> Kama Sutra. <laughs> Get rid of the missionary position, you know, and just try, experiment things. Pretend you're other people, you know what I mean, and just like have an affair with each other and things like that. Time up. Pour wax on him. Like, everybody probably does that, but I don't know, do something a little bit different. Of course I'm not saying that women shouldn't have opinions and ideas. I'm just saying know when to express them. I find that it's best to minimise talk and moderate temperament. Yeah, you know, I really worry about the influence of shows such as Sex and the City. I mean, sure, the women go to fabulous parties, wear fabulous clothes and drink fabulous cocktails. <laughs> but at the end of the day, they're still really lonely, you know? And I mean, let's face it, in real life, Carrie's married to Matthew Broderick. I think you know what I mean. You know, there's a saying I love. It's in Latin. Cogito ergo sum solo. I think, therefore I'm single. Christmas is just around the corner and I know many of you will be sending gifts home to your families overseas. Now we all know that postage costs to some of these countries are really horrendous, so here's a way to ease the financial burden. When you're packing your presents, just make sure you include some of these. Some cheap helium balloons. They'll make your package lighter and cheaper. 
you ever considered artificial insemination? You know, it's not just for lesbians and fat, ugly women. It's also a great way for us more attractive modern women to meet men. I love shopping through online catalogues. And the best thing about artificial insemination is that you get to use your catalogue shopping skills for meeting men. Here's a good one. Six foot two, blue eyes, black hair. He has a PhD in international economics and he's currently working as a stockbroker. Sounds like my kind of man. And best of all, because he's in the catalogue, I know he's been thoroughly checked out by doctors. He has no diseases and is able to breed. I've been out with men for months and not known this much about them. Once you've made your pick, just come down and stake out the sperm bank. All you need is a good pair of binoculars and a thermos full of coffee. Fortunately, years of training has taught me to gauge a man's height, weight, hair colour and ethnic background from a distance of 50 metres. So now I just sit here and wait for my man to make a deposit. Then I pounce. Actually, I think I might pounce before he makes a deposit. There's nothing more frustrating than losing a contact lens. They're nearly impossible to find, expensive to replace, and it can be dangerous if you have to drive home to get your spare glasses. But don't worry, there is a way to make sure that you never lose a lens again. Simply super glue a fashionable chain to your contact lenses. That way, if one falls out, you know it's not far. And yet you can still enjoy the natural look of not wearing glasses. Because remember, men don't make passes at girls who wear glasses. I have a child in Africa. I expect you do too. I also sponsor a panda in the zoo, a bus for a group of disabled children, and many other favourite charities which I happily patronise. Those less fortunate than us crave a friendly, receptive and amorous link to our normal world. And simply by writing letters, you can communicate with the most extraordinary people from all walks of life, from all over the world. I just received this letter from my penal pen pal, Mad Dog. It took a little time before Mad Dog opened up to me, but now he writes all the time. And sometimes he even sends me craft gifts. I'm sure some of his colleagues are a little envious of his creative flair. And just so they don't take the mickey out of him too much for his macrame and knitting, Mad Dog has asked that I hide these craft knives and steel knitting needles inside this book. Bless him. Mad Dog has many years of rehabilitation to go before he's ready to rejoin society. But with creative craft, his remaining time behind bars should be a delightful experience. We all know how stressful it can be going out for the day and leaving your baby with your English nanny. The thought of coming home to a shaken, brain dead or just plain dead baby can really ruin an outing. But don't panic. There is a way to protect your baby and your peace of mind while still enjoying cheap, unprofessional childcare. Just make your baby one of these adorable sinker suits. Simply sew 25 kilos worth of sinkers to a jumpsuit. Then put it on your baby and sew it shut. <sighs> Unless your nanny's a bodybuilder, there's no way she'll be able to shake something this heavy. Although, I should tell you that if you own a pool, it's probably not a good idea. But if you could afford a pool, you could probably afford proper care. So there you have it. A crafty childcare creation that will keep your baby's brain where it should be. Here's a dilemma that a lot of modern women face. You've had a fantastic night out with someone who seems like everything you look for in a man. But... The date's over, he hasn't called, and you're worried you'll never see him again. Well, it's simple. Accuse him of date rape. Now, if the police don't believe you, just say there's this weird thing about his penis that you don't want to talk about just yet. Soon, there'll be many spicy courtroom appearances where you'll meet eye to eye in a formal, sexy setting. And here's a tip. 
Once your hottie is in the witness box and under oath, ask your barrister to quiz him about his favourite foods, likes, dislikes, favourite movies and what he looks for in a woman. It's like having 20 dates in one gruelling courtroom session. And just remember girls, if he doesn't want to see you again, objection overruled. When you're going out on a date, you don't want to take along one of these. It's a pain to carry and it's embarrassing when it starts ringing at an intimate moment. On the other hand, if you lead an active social life, then it is important that your friends can track you down 24 hours a day. So why not do what I do? Get your stalker to carry your mobile for you. This is Raoul. Raoul has been stalking me for a year now. It's uh, 15 months. Really? Has it been that long? Now, what did the court order say? I can't come within 50 metres of you. Well? Oh, <laughs> sorry. When my friends call, Raoul will be able to tell them where I am. And if they leave a message, he can pass it on in his weekly correspondence. Janice has broken up with Simon. Well, I guess I better call Simon then. Sigourney, ready to go? I certainly am. Every modern woman likes to look after the health of the family. But have you noticed that some family members have been getting a bit too porky for their own good? Well, you don't need to offend their feelings by pointing out that they're fat, lazy heifers. All you have to do is adjust the family diet with some wonderful weight loss recipes, starting with the humble prawn. All you need to do is leave it out of the fridge for a couple of days and then simply add it to the evening entree. And there you go. Seafood avocado becomes the family stomach cleanser for the week. In no time, the whole family will be purging away those calories and you can watch the weight fall off with every flush of the toilet. Now, to make sure their greedy little immune systems never learn to cope with your cunning family weight loss plan, just try a different type of food poisoning each week. Salmonella, botulism, even a simple cup of sour milk in a home-baked custard should do it. So go on. Throw another prawn in the sun. As long as they don't see what they eat, they won't have to watch what they eat. Leaving you with a slender, attractive family that will be the envy of your crescent. Ladies, we all know that a dinner party can be a delicious cocktail of anecdotes, flirting and joie de vivre. But occasionally, there will be that one boring guest who brings the whole evening down by continually talking about their kids, property prices and politics. So tonight, I'm going to show you a surefire way to ensure that your dinner party conversation is suitably entertaining for all your guests. Just invite some close friends who have recently broken up, or better still, just gotten a divorce. But make sure that you don't tell either of them that the other one's coming. Hello, single girl. Mwah, mwah. Come in. It's also a good idea to invite one of them an hour earlier than the other to ensure they get a few drinks in. Oh, God. What the hell is she doing here? Oh, great. This is going to be fun. It certainly is. And if either person has started seeing someone new, don't forget to invite them as they're crucial to the evening's entertainment. Oh, and who's this? Excuse me, but who the hell are you? Choose your music carefully. Then, just sit back and enjoy the entertainment. Can't believe Sigourney even invited you to this dinner in your cheap little dress. Oh, yeah, you would know it's a cheap dress. It's the only thing you bought me in the four years we were together. For four years I had to put up with this whingy oh, shit. Well, I'm sure another four hours won't kill you. Oh, don't be so childish. I'm Can being you childish. childish. You're the is? one who left without even leaving a note. Essential facts. Oh, yes, and mysterious email. facts. I don't yeah, want to talk about nothing. It. Before dessert is served, your guests will be treated to a real-life operatic drama with a bitchy Melrose Place feel, and you'll be the hottest hostess in town. Bon appétit. But you were too drunk to remember anyone in our world. Bye. Call me. 
It's a problem far too many modern women face. After you've been with the same man a couple of years, or even a couple of times, you start to experience the same moves and the same sex. And there's nothing more tedious than a lazy lover. So tonight, I've got a wonderful idea for you modern women that's sure to put some marvellous moves back into your man and a smile back on your face. To start, you're going to need a set of plain white bed linen. Then you just need some inspiration. Take the time to get it right so he can. Once you've planned the moves you'd like to do, just take some fabric paint and fill in the silhouettes that show you both where various hands, feet and knees should be. Just make sure you remember to paint your positions in pink and his in blue. Then you have to number these moves and link them together with arrows so he knows what direction to go in. Then you can let him know how you'd like to make love by simply making the bed. Gentle and caring like this restrained style for that men that cry sexual experience. Or if you're feeling adventurous and acrobatic, why not design something a little more challenging? And the addition of a wall hanging will increase your satisfaction and of course complement the decor. So there you have it. Just remember, for a full, enjoyable sex life, it's important to let your lover know exactly what you need. With a set of lazy lover linen, every woman can be really responsible for her own orgasm. You know, every week I get hundreds of letters all asking me the same question. Sigourney, how should I invest my money? Yes, this is one of the great dilemmas of being a modern woman. Of course, back in the good old days, women didn't earn any money, so they never had to worry about these silly problems. But now, it really is very important that a modern woman invest her money wisely, so that she can reap the maximum return. First of all, a lady needs to understand the lingo. Basically, there are two things you can put your money into. Assets and liabilities. An asset will bring you a return on your investment whereas a liability will incur further costs for you to meet. So let's have a look at some assets and liabilities. This frock is a liability. It costs $220. That's the initial purchase price. But wearing this dress will incur further costs. It'll cost you the interest of men, it'll cost you your dignity, and if you have any, it will cost you your self-respect. Now, this frock is an asset. It costs $350. Well, that purchase price is significantly more, but once you make that initial outlay, this asset will reap significant returns, both in terms of short-term dividends in the form of one-night stands and long-term growth in the form of a committed relationship, maybe even marriage. And who can put a price on marriage? And there you have it everything a modern woman needs to know about investing money without having to read those boring financial papers. And there's just one more thing to remember. You must diversify your portfolio. I'll take the lot. <laughs>